welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys, and welcome back to another B.I.B. episode. I'm getting confused on which ones are which and what episodes are which. <laughs> I need to separate these, but this is the, uh, the, the main city that we've been working on. The monorails and all that good stuff. Last time we went over the, uh, the Burger King, the Taco Bell, um... And a couple of the new buildings that I had come up with and uh, and this one here I've got two more buildings that I want to show you so we're gonna drop right in and we're gonna go under the bridge just for a dramatic effect and we have a schoolhouse so this is a, <laughs> it's a fucking schoolhouse <laughs> um, so yeah I wanted to put in a school building somewhere and this seemed like a kind of a logical place to put it um, just because there's a lot of space. <laughs> uh, but no, eventually I, I wanted to come over here on this side and I wanted to start putting in kind of like a more um, rural, 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 rural type area. <laughs> and, uh, you know, some, uh, some smaller houses, housing developments. That's what's going to go down, down in here. So we're going to start getting some side roads, uh, so, you know, with some smaller sidewalks. Um, and more suburban type, smaller housing type places. Uh, that That's kind of where I want to go with this area over here. So I figured having all that living area down in this section, I don't want to say area again because I think I've already said area like eight times. Um, I, I, well, we needed a school. Uh, I think probably this would be more of an elementary school uh, just because it is kind of smaller or maybe elementary to middle grade somewhere in there it's not a really really big school um, so I, I think I'll I think we'll call it this is the elementary school uh, but anyways uh, I've got some new school buses and hopefully you guys have already seen that if not you are blind uh, these are my new school bus designs uh, this is what I come up with uh, basically I took my prison bus and and I made it all yellow and I took out the course blocks underneath and I turned them black um, using the nether brick and then I put on the yellow and red stoplights and then I used a block of red clay here on the outside with a stop sign and a sign right there and then the interior of the bus I've changed over obviously took the bars out <laughs> little bastards need bars anyways but, <laughs> but I took them out and, and I put in some uh, black nether brick down the middle and then a couple little guardrails here you know stand behind the line <laughs> and then change the seating over to the court seating and then in between I covered it up with the black carpeting because the yellow part of the bus is underneath there so that's why I did that and then the, the full bench seat in the back um, now one could argue you could take that out and put a door back here for the emergency escape um, but I didn't quite go that far into detail again it's just a school bus it's more of a placeholder uh, it's not meant to be holy shit it's the Bismarck <laughs> so it's not meant to be super super sexy uh, but anyways I do want to kind of show you what I came up with for the main part of the school building which I think is pretty unique and it looks pretty nice and sexy I hope uh, I took what would normally be kind of a square design and and I put some different cuts in it uh, I put obviously one here and then one on the other side and I didn't want to leave it just straight across the middle. So I started to come up with these little things that kind of jotted out here in the front. Uh, not quite too typical of a school, but this is my world and I wanted it a little bit different. Uh, but yet, you know, kind of feels like it's functional. Like it, it actually could be the front of a, a schoolhouse. Uh, so this is what I've got. i got three different main entrances here. And let, let's go in here. Uh, i got my glass doors right here with the little handles on them. And of course, the lighting sucks ass. I have no interior walls at all, except for way over there, I've got some stairs and stuff. Well, I'll go over that here in just a minute. Uh, but anyways, this would be kind of like the main reception area. Uh, and I'd like to make some hallways going down this way. And then all the classrooms, of course, will be in the middle. And then the hallways will be on the outside. That's if I come back and finish the interior of this build. Um, so anyways, over here on this side, uh, I've already got some brick walls already up and I've put in some stairs really really simple stairs nothing complicated about those and they just keep going up and up 
really simple. <laughs> They're stairs. Uh, but over here, uh, I put in a gymnasium type area. Uh, it's more of a basketball court, I guess. It didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it to, uh, but it didn't turn out hideous. Um, so I've got the scoreboard up there and some banners. The lighting is just absolutely horrific. Um, that's why I've got lighting going up the stairs. I've got lighting smashed into the floor. Um, I was going to put lighting here behind the back uh, boards, um, but that, of course, would look shitty. Uh, I don't think these really need to to be there. Yeah, I think that looks better. We'll go with we'll go with too high on this. There we go. So, anyways, yeah, and then the bleacher area all the way around it, and then of course a couple different main ways into the gymnasium, and then from the second floor there's some entrances here. Um, like I said, I don't think it turned out good. Uh, I don't think it turned out great, but again, this is. Again, interior stuff here, guys. Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole hell of a lot of time on it. Um, you know, just wanted to kind of get some general feel of, you know, where things were and what they represented. Uh, this course over here will be the locker rooms. Uh, I've just split it into two through through some glowstone, uh, just for some lighting, and uh, we've got some outside lighting here because of the uh, outside wall. So that lit up pretty good. Uh, again, the showers and all that stuff will go in there at a later time. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> but anyways, that is the schoolhouse building. I think that turned out really, really good. I'll probably put a parking lot over here because this is the main gymnasium. So there'll probably be some more parking over here. Um, I do want to leave a lot of the grass. I want to put in a track and field type area out here. So I'll put in a big track where people you know, can run. Uh, probably a football field. Uh, somewhere over here again a little further down the road I just want to get the main structure in first and get an idea of where it was going to set uh, and then of course with the other housing and, and things of that nature uh, I need to kind of get an idea of how much space uh, not just the school is going to take up but all the recreational areas too so that is the schoolhouse all right I've got one more building on the other side over there I'm going to fly on down to it and I will pick up recording when I get there uh, this one's pretty pretty awesome. I'm pretty proud of the next one coming up, too. All right, guys, so this is the next building uh, just behind the warehouse. I still have an empty block here that I need to figure out what I want to put there. Uh, but I did skip over into this section uh, because from this road over, this is where all the buildings will start getting hopefully a lot taller and a lot bigger. Um, I want to start getting closer to the skyscrapers i just i don't want to put them in quite yet because the transition won't be right so i've got another i've got my first eh, official type office building on this side of the road and i originally had it here and i and i moved it so that's why that that big patch of brown dirt's there but anyways um again this is what i come up with uh very easy design uh it's just it's really simple sandstone making a square with some windows and then uh, the nether brick uh, slabs actually split the bottom and the top of the sandstone block so it gives a really nice edge around the window and it trims off really really nice and that's I mean that's the whole building uh, and again to keep everything from looking square we just put uh, a couple little jots in right here and then a little piece sticking out and then same thing going down the side uh, right here and this is the the elevator but it's got uh, glass so you can see out it and we'll, and we'll look at that here in just a minute again I don't have anything else done and this is just kind of mirrored from this side to that side the only thing different is I moved the trees around a little bit and made it look just a little bit different um, so we've got a nice little park area, a little lunch area, uh, so the office people can come out and they can sit on their benches. Uh, and that's just another brick fence. Yep, uh, underneath with some sandstone, sandstone seating, uh, and then just a, a really nice kind of a park area. Uh, a little water fountain, very simple design. Nothing really, really fancy, but uh, you don't always need something fancy in your world. Uh, don't always try to go elaborate with everything. Keep things simple, and uh, even the simplest things, once it's put together like this, I think it turns out really, really nice, and it adds a lot to your world, and it doesn't take, uh, you know, months trying to come up with 
you know elaborate designs so again really really simple this is the interior obviously and then in the center of the building this is where I put the elevators uh, and again I wanted something that had uh, like the glass face like the skyscrapers will have uh, when I get into those except it'll be solid glass all the way up and it won't be broke up on each level uh, so this is kind of what I come up with for the elevator design and you can see each floor up above you and then you know part of the main chain system uh, nothing again nothing really fancy just kind of placeholders here guys and then same thing on the side for the elevator to go up I was going to dig this out and go back a little bit um, but it doesn't quite it, it starts running into the windows and shit like that and really starts messing up the building so this is what I came up with and I think it turned out pretty damn good and again I've got two two block ceilings so I have when when and if I get to it uh, I've got plenty of room to put lighting in the ceiling I got plenty of room to put it in the floors and cover it up with um, uh, carpet pieces so again eventually if I get over here to put an interior more of an interior I'd like to uh, at least get some walls in it again uh, I've mentioned this before in past episodes I don't I don't like that I don't like being able to see all the way through the building I don't like it to feel like it's it's that fucking empty uh, so I'm definitely gonna put some walls in here uh, even if it is repeated all the way up and I'll, you know just like I've done on my other apartment complexes um, the building will be full and when you walk past it or walk into it it will feel like a, a building it won't just feel like a big empty space um, so that is my plans for uh, doing the interiors of the other buildings when I finally get to those too um, these are just structures on top that I started for the elevator system and didn't finish um, but again I think that that design turned out really really nice very very simple uh, but very very effective um, and it still leaves us a lot of room on this block for a couple other buildings and some more parking lots so the next buildings that I put over here I'll probably turn this way uh, again for variety uh, keeping the buildings uh, long and narrow uh, kind of keep that theme I'll probably do the same thing over here possibly uh, some more narrow looking buildings uh, and keep the lengthwise going this way and then another big one down here but I'm not really really certain yet again I just kind of wing it I get a building idea I start to build it and actually I think that was the start of the school and I picked it up and I threw it over there um, so that's what happens it doesn't always end up where <laughs> where I start putting it anyways uh, but that is it that is where I'm at in the city so far uh, as always got a lot of shit going on around the channel so uh, I'm keeping busy in a lot of different areas but as I get them done of course I'm gonna make a video and show you guys what's going on so hopefully you like the new uh, uh, apartment building <laughs> office complex building uh, again we're starting to get higher here one two three four five six seven eight nine stories um, hopefully we'll start getting in, in, into the teens 12s 15s uh, no more than probably 20 in this area again just to keep the transition nice and then on the next block over then we'll start shooting up uh, hopefully into the 30s and the 50s um, and maybe even throw in some higher ones I'm not sure yet but you do want to you do want to make a transition some sort of a you know lower building into a higher building and I don't want to just shoot a skyscraper up right here it'll look dumb as hell and I don't advise doing that in your world so don't do it uh, but that is it hopefully you got some really good ideas out of this episode guys like always I appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later